Hey guys, we are here to visit the new Spider K Hard Drill. We have never seen this in action, and today is the day we get to see it. Let's check it out. It's very open inside this frame. The frame structure is huge, but when you get down to the row units, there's a lot of room to move around, which is pretty neat. Another thing is this massive center section. You don't have a lot of width as far as the structure, but you have a big center frame piece. Looks like a huge tube, but that allows that to do the, the tight folding, kind of looking like a spider, spider pattern. You can see there's a lot of corn trash. They did run over this with some kind of a pro-till vertical tillage machine. So they did get some of the trash broken down last fall. And really the big benefit that they say with this drill is it reduces hair pinning. And that they achieve by having an angled cutting disc and it cuts at an angle to the trash versus a conventional no-till drill. The disc is usually vertical and pitched at a certain degree angle like the John Deere would be a seven degree angle. Normal no-till drills, move soil over and then move it back. This one is supposed to just lift it up and then put it back down and then put some pressure on to make that seed to soil contact. Here's the seed furrow. You can see a, a little canola seed here. Here's a pretty good test. We got some corn trash here. You can see it more or less rode, rode over it, cut some of this. And this is tough for any, any no-till drill is to cut through this tough uh, corn trash, these corn stalks. And the other thing is they're planting really shallow on this field, so it actually doesn't have a ton of a down pressure. And here you go, here's some couple seeds in here. So it's definitely getting down in there. So despite all that trash, there's actually quite a bit of seeds getting right down to where, where they need to be. I'll give you guys a quick look at these discs. You can see it's a double disc design. And that's designed to help cut the ground easier, cut through the trash. All the hubs are greasable. They've got a parallel link design here to keep uh, the ground following good. What's interesting too is this entire rock shaft system, this pair of rock shafts come down at the same rate. So the ground clearance of this is really good. The whole thing lifts up when they lift this out of the ground, including the front rank. Since we deal with a lot of corrosion, I really like to see all the stainless tubing that they have on here, especially at the bends. That's gonna really save the hose long-term, have less replacement costs. Not only that, but the corrosion aspect too. They're gonna be good there for a long time. One thing I really like too is the Steiger green. You get a nice gloss to that green color and it looks really nice. The other neat thing is this actually pivots here. So you can see that it actually can follow the ground as you're turning. So you're not putting a ton of side load on that disc. There you have it guys. We have checked out the spider drill out in the field. Keep tracking with us. Thanks for watching guys. God bless, we'll see you next time. To test drive the K-Heart Spider in your field, go to ready-ag.com spider and sign up for your free demo.